Okay, let's explain quite briefly what I've got set up here and the problem that I'm having. So I've got my Z80 Playground set up and it's plugged into my PC. It's connected via a USB to serial cable and then via a, a USB to serial adapter, which then goes to the Z80 Playground. So I'm using the CH340 module to do that, to convert from USB to serial. And on the Z80 Playground end, I've got a UART the 16C550 that converts from Z80, I suppose you could call it parallel data, to serial data. So the Z80 could talk to the PC what the Z80 produces, the text that the Z80 wants to send, it can send through to the PC and we see it on the console window, which is why you can see the Z80 monitor program that I've got up and running. And going in the other direction, keys from the computer, from my PC, I can type on the keyboard, they go through um, the USB cable converted to serial and eventually converted back again and end up on the Z80 playground screen. So I've written a program uh, which is right here and what it does is if I type something, so if I type hello, um, I'm typing on the PC keyboard and it's being sent to the Z80 and then echoed back again and when I press enter the Z80 converts the lowercase into uppercase and repeats it back onto the screen. So that's pretty easy, Z80 Playground. So that all works fine. And I've also put in a little thing to test transmission of data from the Z80 back to the PC. So if I just type Z by itself, it sends a big message through like this, um, which comes through. And you can see that I can produce a message on the Z80 and send it through to my PC and view it in TerraTerm and it's absolutely fine. And going back in the other direction, when I type things, it's absolutely fine. No problems there. The difficulty arises when I try and copy and paste stuff. So let's say I want to copy something off my computer, a long sentence, and then paste it into the, um, into the Z80 playground effectively, then things get corrupted. So right now I'm in Notepad on my PC, and I've typed in a long sentence, and I'm gonna copy that into the buffer, into the clipboard and I'm going to paste that through to the Z80 playground. Okay so here I am in the TerraTerm window and I'm going to paste the text from the PC to the Z80 playground and in TerraTerm you just right click to paste and when I paste it in you can see that I've lost some of the characters and what's happening is the communication channel is completely um, at the mercy of whatever speed the two ends of the communication channel are talking at. Uh, there's no flow control. So the PC is sending characters as fast as it wants to send them, and the Z80 is sending characters as fast as it wants to send them. But if you think about it, I'm running my Z80 playground at 10 megahertz, and my PC is probably running at something like seven gigahertz. So my PC is potentially a thousand times faster than the Z80 Playground. There's one other speed involved, which is the board rate of the serial connection between the two. But that's a very fast board rate as well. That's 460,800 uh, 460, board. So that allows quite a fast rate. So when the Z80 Playground sends to the PC, there's absolutely no chance at all of the Z80 Playground sending text faster than the PC can, can consume it. But in the other direction, the PC can easily send text to the Z80 Playground faster than it can deal with it. And it's going to depend on the loop of code that's um, receiving the characters and printing them out. But even in a really quick loop, a really tight loop, we can send characters from the PC to the Z80 Playground faster than it can deal with them and it just kind of loses them. Now the UART chip on the Z80 Playground, which is a 16C550, does have one little trick up its sleeve to try to deal with this kind of thing, which is a FIFO buffer. It's got a 16 byte FIFO. So looking in the code of the Z80 Playground where we initialize the UART, the FIFO buffer is, uh, can be turned on and it's a 16 byte buffer and you can turn that on um, and that should help to uh, give the, the Z80 playground a little bit more chance of receiving the characters. So let's just try that out with the 16 byte FIFO turned on. So here we are in the Z80 playground again, and I will paste that text in, and it's 
does a slightly better job. The first 16 or 20 characters or so are, have come through fine because they go into the FIFO. But as soon as the 16 byte FIFO is full, uh, we get the same corruption as we were getting before, basically characters being completely lost. So what we need to do, the proper solution to this, is to turn on flow control in the 16550 at the Z80 end and also to turn on flow control in TerraTerm. So let's have a look at the settings to do that. Okay, so here I am in TerraTerm looking at the settings of the serial port. So we're going to serial port settings and you can see I've got it set up on COM port 8. I'm using a very high board rate of 46800. I'm using the traditional eight data bits, no parity and one stop bit that I think everybody uses and flow control is turned off, set to none. Now it is possible to turn on three different types of flow control. One's called X on X off, which is a software flow control, which I don't rate at all. The second type of flow control is RTS CTS and there's also DSR DTR. So let's have a look and see in the 16550 whether it supports these two types of hardware flow control. Yeah, so this is the 16550 data sheet and if I search for flow control, we have uh, flow control available, but the only type of flow control that it supports is CTS RTS flow control. So it only supports one of the types of flow control that, uh, that, you, can, uh, that you can set up in TerraTerm. So what normally happens is when you're connecting up a serial port from the Z80 to a USB to serial adapter from a PC, you need to collect up four lines. You obviously connect up the power line, so VCC and ground, and you also set up the TX and the RX lines. So they look like this. Um, and you cross-couple the TX and the RX, so one side is transmitting to the other side's receiving, and then the other side is transmitting to the first side's receiver. So they, uh, they're the only four wires that you actually need to set up. But if you want to use flow control, hardware flow control, you need two extra lines. You need the RTS line and the CTS line at both ends. Um, the, uh, these are funny named signals, but RTS, it stands for ready to send, but I think it really means I am ready to receive, and the CTS means clear to send, it means I am clear to send. So you cross-couple again, you, you connect the RTS to the CTS uh, going in both directions. So when one side says, I'm ready to receive, that's connected up to the other side's I am clear to send signal. So when one side's ready to receive, the other side is clear to send. So if you are sending me a load of data, uh, I would take my ready to receive line low, that would trigger your clear to send line, you'd start sending me data, when I get a bit busy, I would take my ready to receive line high to say basically, could you slow down a bit? That would take your clear to send line high and you'd stop sending. And then when I'm ready to receive again, I would take my ready to receive line low and that would trigger your clear to send line to go low. So what we need to do is connect up ready to send and clear to send on both sides of the uh, communication. However, there's two things really you could say about that. Firstly, you don't really need hardware flow control going in both directions because as, as I've already proven, the Z80 can't send data to the PC faster than the PC can deal with it. The problem only occurs in one direction. And also, the um, CH340 module that I'm using and uh, the other FTDI USB to serial adapter that I've got, neither of them actually allow you to get hold of enough of the signals, or at least they don't on an easy basis. So if we look at the CH340 module, for example, it's only got six pins that come out of it. They're the only six you can get hold of. And one of those is DTR, which we don't even want to have. Um, so we can only get hold of the clear to send line going in one direction, and we can't even get hold of the RTS line. And on the FTDI adapter that I've got, uh, this red one, we can get hold of the lines going in both directions, but we need to solder an extra wire in to get hold of them uh, because it's not because the signals we need are not all made available right at the end on the end connector. One of them is sticking out the side, and we have to do some kind of bodge wiring to get that in place. On my Z80 Playground, I have in order to get hold of the 
um, ready to send line. I've had, I unfortunately forgot to bring it out to the edge connector here, so I've had to solder in a bodge wire directly onto the 16550 chip in order to get that, that line to come out. So I'm gonna to have to bring out a version 1.2 of this board where I do actually bring this wire out to the edge connector so I can plug things in and use it. Um, so let's try wiring it up then with uh, VCC and ground, transmit and receive, and then just one direction of flow control so that the Z80 playground can tell the PC to send things a bit more slowly. Oh yes, and uh, this is my CH340 module, the um, kindly sent to me by Albert, one of my subscribers. So what I'm gonna have to, well, what I had to do on this, it's a little bit tricky to see, but it doesn't actually bring out all the connections that I need immediately. I had to re-solder a little solder bridge in order to get out the correct CTR signal there. Okay, so with a little bit of bodge wiring, I've managed to get the correct signals coming out of the CH340 module from my PC. Um, and wired them into the correct place on the Z80 Playground version 1.1. So we should be able to now copy and paste text from, uh, from Notepad, paste it in and see what we get. Ah, yes. Also, there's a couple of things we have to do first. So firstly, in uh, the Z80 Playground, in the code that configures the UART, I have to put in an extra couple of lines of code to turn on flow control. So I've enabled flow control, RTS and CTS flow control. And what's gonna happen there is that the Z80 Playground will then start using the ready to send or the ready to receive line to tell the PC that it can actually send data. And at the TerraTerm end, I need to turn on flow control here. So I'll put RTS, CTS, flow control on and save those settings. Okay, so when we paste it in, we get all of the text come out perfectly well. Brilliant, I don't think we've lost a single character there. So what I've managed to do then is by turning on flow control, I've managed to get the Z80 playground to regulate the speed that the PC is sending data to the Z80 playground so that no characters get lost when you copy and paste, which I think is a pretty useful thing. And the reason that I actually started doing this in the first place was I was running BBC Basic I found a program in BASIC on the web and I wanted to copy and paste it into the Z80 Playground and loads of the characters got lost.